Number 37. Why are bonding molecular orbitals lower in energy than the parent atomic orbitals? Okay, now to actually understand uh, what this question is asking and how to answer it, it's good to just draw a couple of things out. Now, first off, the, the question is basically asking for why are these bonding molecular orbitals lower in energy? If something is lower in energy, generally speaking, that means that it's going to be more stable. So the lower the energy it needs, it's a more stable uh, substance. So in this case, we're saying, why are bonding molecular orbitals more stable than the parent atomic orbitals? Now, the next thing is just know that atomic orbitals will come together to form a molecular orbital. So for example, it doesn't really matter uh, what atomic orbital we use here, but let's do a, a PX, right? So let's first draw the two atomic orbitals that will come together for the two atoms. So these black dots represent the nuclei. And if we're doing a PX orbital, remember the P orbitals are dumbbells. And if we think about this on a coordinate system, this is the X axis. So I have to draw my dumbbells extending to the left and to the right. Now your atomic orbitals for your P orbitals will have two different colors. Uh, basically, this is showing you that you have two different uh, motions of electrons. So in, in general, they're usually denoted by a positive and a negative value just to separate the two of them, but I like to just use the colors. Now, if we are taking a atomic orbital, and let's just say that this is AO, AO. So here is one atomic orbital. And I am coming together with an, another atomic orbital, and we are going to make a molecular orbital. So if we're making specifically a bonding molecular orbital, this means that these atomic orbitals have to be coming together in phase, which means that the colors, when they come together, they have to be matching. So if this green is going to try to come together with this atomic orbital, the coloring has to be green on this side. And that means that the blue would be on the other side because colors go together when you're trying to bond. So when this atom comes together, it's green with green. So it's going to basically like overlap. And what's going to happen is we now have our two nuclei, right? And now we're going to have a big electron density cloud, and this is going to be now all green. So this is showing that wherever I'm drawing in this green blob, that's where an electron could potentially be. And since this is the bonding between the two nuclei, the outsides are where less probable electron density is because this is basically the bond. So the other two on the opposite sides, they get very small which basically means that the probability of finding the actual electron on this end or on this end is quite low. So maybe I will draw the two electrons as the dots. And remember, every molecular orbital drawing can only have a max of two electrons. So that means that one electron from this atomic orbital, maybe in the green, came together with the one electron on this atomic orbital to make this. Now it's basically asking for, why is this bonding molecular orbital more stable than this? Well, it has to do with the position of these two, it looks like a smiley face, <laughs> these two electrons, right? Now just know that these electrons are now being surrounded in closer proximity to two nuclei. And remember, the nuclei are positive, right? So you have a positive charge, on both sides, and you have these two electrons that are negatively charged. And now it looks like somebody with eyebrows. <laughs> ah, this is getting better and better. But just know that, remember, charges opposites attract. So the reason being is that since these electrons are more closely surrounded by the positive nuclei, 
it drops the energy, making it more stable. So you have your two electrons surrounded by, and I'm just trying to kind of try to uh, write this quickly. So we have the two electrons surrounded by the positive nuclei in the molecular orbital. I'm just going to say mo in the molecular orbital. And because of this, opposites attract, positives go with negatives, you're going to drop the energy. And in turn, you're going to increase the stability. Over here, for your atomic orbitals, you just have like one electron with one positive charge, and you got another electron with another positive nuclei. But once you are now interacting with two nuclei, two positives, you drop your energy. And... That is the answer. And now, as I'm looking at this, this now looks like, you know, somebody with pigtails. Here's my, here's my little pigtails. You got the eyebrows, the, the eyes, the, the mouth. Wow. You know who this looks like? <laughs> this looks like Cynthia from Rugrats. If anybody has watched that. Um, yeah, Cynthia with the hair, like, going out, you know, on the sides. I just drew Cynthia, right? Uh, let me know in the comments if you ever watch Rugrats. One of my favorite shows growing up. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to talk to you soon. All right. Good luck on your tests and quizzes, and have an awesome day. Bye bye.